problem with my brother. I went up over the top of the hill, and there was a big set of um, Andrew gates going into the tip. And uh, probably about five metres beyond that, there was a they'd actually dug a pit. Anyway, I come up over the top of the hill fairly quick on the bike, and I, as I went through the gates, I realised I was going to come, you know, going too quick, and I locked the bike up, come to the side and stop. I was probably only about maybe two metres from the edge of the pit. I looked down into the pit, and there was this crew down in the pit going through the rubbish. I didn't know what it was when I, when I first saw it, I thought it was a bloke, but when he turned around, he looked straight at me. And he ducked, he sort of dropped into the rubbish, trying to hide. And I thought if he dropped down, I wouldn't see him. My brother was coming, he was not far behind me, and I, I sort of had to turn around to um, wave him down, you know, so he wouldn't come flying, you know, hit me or come into the pit. When I turned back around, he was scurrying up over the bank. What they do is when they dig the pit, they take all the dirt out of it. It's probably only about oh, 10 foot deep, probably. And they, all the dirt they dig out, they put on the other side, the back side of it. Anyway, so it's a bit of a mound. His head would have been about level with the ground, what I could see it in. But then there was a, the pit went up, there was about four or five foot of dirt up over the back. Anyway, it's going scurrying up over this, the mound at the back. And I got a good look at him then, like, from the back of him. He's gone up over the mound and he sort of he slid down the back of it and he just popped his head up. And that was when the brother sort of pulled up and, he, and the brother sat him there and he's he seen the head, you know. I've put the stand out on the bike and I stood up on the, on the footpath just trying to get a better look at him. Sort of ducked down behind the uh, bank. So I've jumped off my bike and ran around the edge of the, around the outside of the pit. And as I've got to the, the outside of it, he took off and he'd gone. There was a little, well, probably about well, 10 metres away, there was a little wire fence, just a normal wire fence. And he was already over that by the time I got there. But he was just standing there looking back. And he took off again. And he's seen me coming. He took off, but I realised then that he wasn't a bloke. You know, it wasn't him. And uh, the way he moved, it was like he was just, he was a wild animal. He just took off. It was, as he was going through the trees, he was um, grabbing him, grabbing the trees and pulling him forth to build up speed sort of thing as he was going. But really fast, really agile. He had no clothes on for a start. I mean, the thing was, when, I, when he went up the bank, from his ass down, he was real thick, like big, thick legs, sort of powerful legs, but then from his waist up, he was sort of skinny. It was like he was a crook, you know, there was something wrong with him. He wasn't um, in good health. Like, he's, you could see his backbone sticking out and all his ribs were showing. He had hair on his back that was really sparse, and it was, he was like, you know, we've seen a dog with a mange, and it's real mangy, and, and this skin was all scabby, scaly on it. And it was that real pickled looking colour like you get on a real old person that's been out in the sun for hundred years. It looked like he was about, this thing I would have said would have been about 80 year old, you know, like it was a big, it was an old critter. It wasn't very big, it was only about five foot high. On his face he had a big beard. He had all, I couldn't see his mouth because he had hair from his sort of nose right down there and hung down over his neck. He had a big sort of mono brow, like with all this hair off, over his forehead and his hair would have been long down over his shoulders. When it moved, it was, it was no human, like there was no way a human could move that quick, that agile sort of thing. I thought, oh, this thing's pretty crook looking, but it, when it moved, it wasn't crook, there was nothing wrong with it, you know what I mean? But it didn't look right, like it was, it was bigger in the, in, from the bottom down than it was in the top, it looked like it had, it had, been, it had been sick or something, it looked like it was, all the ribs were showing, it was fairly scrawny looking up the top end of it. So this was in um, 1982, but do you know when it was summer or winter? Or oh, it was summer, yeah. And it was about three o'clock, according to your report. But yeah, yeah, around that, two or three o'clock in the day. How close to this thing did you come when you hit the edge of the tip? Well, the tip was only about three metres, four metres wide, and I was only about two metres from edge. I would have been about five metres or up from it, you know. Kind of describe it from head to top if you can. You know what I mean? Well, from let's say from the bottom up to the top. I couldn't tell how much of him when he was actually in the tip, but he was in amongst, up to his stomach and sort of bag of rubbish and stuff. He was going through it like he was stabbing through things, looking for food by the look of it. But when he went up over the bank, I, I turned around just to see him go up over the bank, and he was, you know, from his ass down, he was had that big, thick thighs and calves, ankles, like everything was thick. Had hair on it, but it was sort of a, a orangey looking hair. But then his back, from his hips up, his back, that was. Real mangy looking. Like it was, I could see his backbone, his ribs. There was hair on his back, but it was real sparse. 
he was fairly small across the shoulders. He had long hair, his hair was right down like over like his shoulders sort of thing. It was on his back was a different colour. It was all silver. And um, his beard and all that was a little silver with sort of black stripes in it. So I couldn't see his mouth, but he had big, real sort of beady looking eyes. He, 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 looked, he looked fairly wild, you know, he was a wild looking creature. How much do you think this thing weighed? I reckon he would have only went about probably oh, 75, maybe 80 at the most. Fairly agile, you know, fairly small. You mentioned the hair on the back was different to the rest. So the hair on the legs and the body, was that pretty solid? He had a sort of big silvery black looking beard that had black stripes in it. On his chest was just all silver. But I could see through it like it was on his sparse. On his shoulders there was sparse hair. All the way down his back it was all hair. It was long hair, like two or three inches long, but it was really thin. You, know, you could see right, you could see his skin through it. The big thing for you was the way that it ran. So you, oh, you're yeah. saying it didn't run like a human. Just describe it to me. Well, it had already got over the fence and I'd sort of got around there. And it was just standing there, but it was it was facing away from me, but it had turned around to look, you know, looking back. And then when the same they come around the edge, it, it just took off. It sort of almost, it sort of bent down a little bit. It was like it was, well, I didn't sort of run fully standing up. It was using its arms to pull itself along. But then it, as it uh, got the trees and took the little saplings, they're only tiny little things, it was grabbing them. And it was pulling itself through, you know, like it was using, the, it was grabbing the saplings and pulling itself through the trees. I've never seen anything move like it. Like, I've never seen a human do anything like that. Really agile, like it was quick. Quicker than a human, in your view. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I would have never been able to keep up with it. But when you looked at it, when I was first ran, I thought it was just really old. I thought it was decrepit. You know, it was something like it was, it was, it was on its death. <laughs> like it was, didn't look well, this thing. But when it moved, it moved like it was all right. There was nothing wrong with it, you know what I mean? Like, so it was an old critter. Like it was an old thing. It was probably going to have to be about 80 year old, this thing. What were you feeling? Were you afraid or were you just puzzled or interested? Oh, or? No, there was no, I wasn't afraid. I was, I was just curious. And it was scared. Like, this thing was scared of me. You could tell the way it was looking. You know, it was scared. He was terrified, this thing. Something I've never ever seen. I've been around the scrub all my life. Like, I grew up all the way up around Little Flat and years after there in the scrub. But um, never seen anything like that.